I'm back again with another compatibility chart, this time between Burke Ramsey and his sister, John Bonet. I know there's a lot of people who think that Burke is responsible for murdering his sister, so I really had to go over this chart and dig to see what I could find. Now, Burke's son conjuncts her North Node and her Moon, zero degrees and two degrees. This can be nice. It can indicate a best friend's aspect. But his son is in the sign of Aquarius, and Saturn is the co-ruler of Aquarius. So Saturn put a binding or a chilling effect on this energy between the two of them. Now, the North Node is really important in a natal chart because whatever asteroid or planet or luminary conjuncture North, North Node, this will indicate the basic theme of your life or, or where it's going. Now her moon, conjuncting the North Node, that represents the mother. Because in a natal chart, moon represents the mother, like I said. So her mother had a very strong influence on where her daughter's life was going. But John Bonet's moon opposes her son. And this indicates huge ego clashes with her mother, back and forth ego clashes and her De Janeiro is also opposing her son in the fourth house, and the son rules the father in a natal chart. And the son is in the fourth house, which rules the home and the family. Now, I know what you're thinking. She's going off on a tangent, and I thought we were going to talk about Burke. Well, I, I, I'm going to, but I think that this, these points are extremely important because it ties into all of the other dynamics that are going on within this family because everybody lived together. Now, John Bonet's Tisephone also conjuncts her North Node and the Moon. Tisephone is one of the three Furies in Greek mythology. Uh, it represents, it's kind of like a, a mini mob mentality where three Greek goddesses who would pursue and, and torment or, or retaliate, retaliate against people who they thought were guilty of heinous crimes, especially when it came to crimes involved in the family. And the other two furies were Aletko, Desire to Punish, and Megara. So Gemini's life theme had to do with the dissension and the control that her mother had over her life purpose, but also Tisephone, which, like I said, involves the mob mentality of people wanting to find out the truth. Who killed her? Now I'm going to get to Burke. Uh, John Bonet's Alma and Ishtar conjuncts his Venus and Saturn, all within three degrees. Alma has to do with soul and love. Ishtar has to do with arguments and blow-ups. So it's conjuncting his Venus and Saturn. So this means that she liked to pick arguments with her brother, but he didn't really want to argue with her because, like I said before, Saturn has a binding or a restrictive influence on the energies that it conjuncts. However, Japanese point of fortune looks like a circle with a cross in the middle and it magnifies whatever it touches and it's conjuncting his Ishtar and his Patsy asteroid, PNA. So now we have arguments and blow-ups. And I think it had to do with the mother because Patsy is right there conjuncting Ishtar. Her Uranus conjuncts his lie and his Neptune, zero degrees. This is the tightest orb that you can get, so this is very important. I've talked about Uranus before. It has, the energies have to do with sudden upheavals, things that happen out of the blue that are unexpected. And her Uranus is in the eighth house, which rules death. Capricorn, in the sign of Capricorn, ruled by Saturn. Saturn, in a natal chart, represents the father, as well as the luminary, the sun. So what does this translate into? Her Uranus conjuncting his lie and Neptune, 
He knows more than he's saying. Because lie is self-explanatory, and Neptune has to do with illusions and secrets and things that are hidden. So there's the indication that the chart is telling me that he knows more than what he's saying. His Lachesis, Fama, and Anubis conjuncts her son and the IC in the fourth house, home in the family. Lachesis has to do with death. Fama has to do with fame, and Anubis has to do with, it's a death marker. So he became famous after her death, and it's right um, on the cusp of the fourth house on the IC, so this happened behind the scenes, and her son illuminated these energies of how he became famous after her death. I have to say, I can't, I haven't found anything that, cements the fact that he was directly involved in killing her. Like I said before, with the Neptune conjuncting his lie, I do think that he knows more than he's telling. Now his Pollux conjuncts her Venus and Chiron, three degrees. <clears throat> Pollux has to do with, it's a fixed start. It has to do with brutality and cruelty. So it's conjuncting her Venus. Yes, he did bring cruel behavior towards her, but it, it is not a high indication of murder. And it's at three degrees, so that's uh, on the weaker side. That orb is on the weaker side with the energies. His nemesis and typhoon conjuncts her ascendant two degrees. He ascended a very important angle in a compatibility chart. Now the asteroid's nemesis and typhoon, this indicates enemy-like behavior through overwhelming psychological events, not physical. And like I said before, they all lived together in the same house. So this is just very dysfunctional. And the energies that he brought, nemesis, overwhelming psychological events, and these energies associated to me signifies that she thought he was her friend and brother, but since he's involved with the dynamics with the parents, it there's this ener energy of like a an enemy in a, in a backstabbing sort of way. But I'm going to get to the event chart, and that will it, signify further what I'm trying to explain to you. Because I think the event chart is really important as well. And that's coming up in the same video. Now his Chiron is conjuncting her typhoon zero degrees. So he, he brought pain to her because of these overwhelming psychological events in the household. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing the event chart. In an event chart, the ascendant represents the victim. It's in the sign of Virgo and Virgo is a uh, ruled by Mercury, and that would be John Bonet. Mercury rules all children, and Mercury is in the fifth house. The fifth house rules the bedroom. So John Bonet is in the bedroom, and the parents are there as well. The descendant, which represents the perpetrator, is in Pisces, and Pisces is ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. So Neptune and Jupiter are both in the fifth house. Now the timestamp for this is at 9.30 p.m. So this chart is viable because that's when Patsy said that she was tucking in the children with the father. All of these planets are in the sign of Capricorn, and this means they are all related. The PNA, personal name asteroid Burke, is in the fourth house, which rules the home and the family also in the sign of Capricorn. Interestingly enough, Jupiter and Neptune are conjuncting Adrastea. Adrastea is the asteroid that has to do with the wounded who cannot flee and childhood abuse. So there are two people involved, but it's not Burke because Capricorn rules Saturn and Saturn is in the eighth house and the eighth house rules death. Saturn represents represents an older person, and Saturn also 
um, indicates the father. Because in astrology, Saturn rules not only the husband, but the father and the son, the, illum the luminary, also rules the father and the husband. So now, like I said, we have Saturn in the eighth house, which rules death. It's conjuncting the asteroid Agamemnon. And Ag Agamemnon has to do with sudden homicides and sacrifice. I've talked about Agamemnon in another a video. It has to do with um, Greek mythology. Now, Burke is conjuncting the sun, luminary, at three degrees. But he's in the fourth house, and the sun is in the fifth house, the bedroom again. So we have the sun in the fifth house, Jupiter in the fifth house, and Neptune in the fifth house. Now, he may have been right outside of the bedroom. But where is Patsy? Patsy is conjuncting an asteroid called truth in the sign of Libra. So she knows exactly what happened. Libra is ruled by Venus and Venus is conjuncting Nessus zero degrees in the fourth house. And the fourth house, like I said, rules the home and the family. And the fourth house also rules the mother. So Venus conjuncting Nessus zero degrees, that has to do with abuse. Venus rules wife and mother, moon, like I said, that rules the mother and can also represent the wife as well. So now we have Jupiter in the fifth conjuncting Neptune. Neptune conjuncting Jupiter has to do with huge cover-ups cover and secrecy. And it also has to do with sexual secrets because it's in the fifth house which rules children. And like I said before, that is conjuncting Adrastea, the wounded who cannot flee and childhood abuse. See where this is going? Uh, it all indicates the uh, abuse, sexual abuse, because also the moon in the, in the 11th, in the sign of cancer, which is domicile, that's Cancer is ruled by the moon, and the moon in the 11th opposing Mercury in the 5th, that indicates sexual contact with a child. Now, Saturn in the 8th house, which like I said rules death, is in the sign of Aries, and Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is in the 1st house. And when you have Mars in the first house in an event chart, that indicates aggression and possible violence is coming. Now, Mars is ruled by Aries, and Aries rules the head. So this indicates the aggression. There will be a blow to her head. The asteroids Ixion and Pluto are conjuncting the IC. And the IC is on the cusp of the fourth house, like I said, rules the home and the family. And I see whatever conjuncture I see from the other person or in an event chart, this happens behind the scenes and also represents where you're going to be, uh, where your burial will be or where you're going to die. So Ixian is the murder asteroid. And Pluto also represents violence and is the modern ruler of death. So that's all I have regarding this event chart. I will be doing the compatibility chart between John Bonet and her mother Patsy shortly. So I hope you enjoyed this interpretation and thanks for watching. And hit the subscribe button if you would like to hear about more charts and I will be back soon. Have a nice day.